Hi everyone, this is Watch from the MW Technology channel on YouTube and in this video I'm going to do a demonstration of how you can set up four high resolution HD monitors using only one graphics card. There's obviously a couple of ways where you can achieve a setup like this and of course there's many practical applications of why you would need these many monitors, uh, perhaps if you're doing a lot of multitasking or if you're doing any kind of uh, big spreadsheets or any kind of uh, workflow application that you need a a lot of desktop real estate for. It's really great for that. Now probably the most simple and straightforward method of achieving this type of setup is using the Galaxy MDT series of graphics cards which is going to allow you to hook up any type of monitors using four DVI connections. The nice thing is again is you can use any type of monitor that you have lying around the house and using these multi-display technology cards from Galaxy is a lot more simpler than your AMD solutions that you have out there. Mainly due to the fact that AMD requires that you use some sort of DisplayPort technology to connect multiple displays together. And DisplayPort connections and DisplayPort monitors are a lot harder to find and uh, overall a little bit more complicated to set up and definitely not as universal as using a standard connection such as DVI. Now there are a couple of cards that offer this MDT technology from Galaxy. So let's go ahead and list some of these cards from low to high price. So starting from the most affordable of the MDT line is the GT610. It can support up to four DVI monitors and it retails for around $80. Next we have the MDT GTX 560, which is the exact same card that we are using for this video and for our setup. And that card retails for around $160. Next we have the more powerful GTX 570 which is definitely going to get you better frame rates and overall better performance for gaming and it has a higher number of CUDA cores for better GPU accelerated applications. Retails for about $260. Then we have the even higher performing GTX 580, which retails for about $300. And lastly, we have the GTX 560 Ti, which also retails for about $300. But the only difference is that it can support up to five monitors. And in order to do that, it uses four HDMI ports, as well as one DVI and one DisplayPort connection in order to achieve the five monitor setup. Now once you picked out the card that's best for you, the setup is really quite straightforward. Most of the time we're going to be using three monitor setup, we don't need the fourth monitor, but just for demonstration purposes we'll show you how to connect the fourth monitor. And it's really simple and straightforward. We have this uh, little diagram over here. Each of the monitors are connected through DVI and uh, all of them are maxed out to their native resolution. Now if you want to set up four monitors, you can set it up in a couple of different ways. The way we have it set up is basically you have one large monitor comprising of three monitors and uh, just a secondary monitor which is the 24 inch. So in terms of resolution we have three displays joined together making a resolution of 5760 by 1080. And then on the left hand side we just have a standard 24 inch monitor which has a slightly higher vertical resolution of 1920 by 1200 which is just acting as like a secondary monitor. And all you really have to do is just make sure each of the monitors are plugged in through DVI. Once you've connected everything properly, your graphics card should recognize all the monitors and you just go to the NVIDIA control panel driver to just set up the resolution and arrangements of the monitors. And to actually set up the multi-display in terms of arrangements, you go to display and set up multiple displays. And here we have a mini diagram of what the monitors are actually doing. We have the three monitors set up as the number one and the secondary monitor labeled number two. And here we can actually drag each portion so we can change the arrangements physically if you want one on top of the other to suit whatever you have physically set up. But as you can see, everything is really intuitive in terms of software. It's very easy to just plug and play. There's not too much in involved in terms of complicated setups. And even if you have more monitors, I'm sure it's going to be easy for setting up that as well. So if you're in the market for any kind of multiple display setups with three monitors or more, I believe that this is the most streamlined and simplest method in order to get this kind of multi-display setup. 
So if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. Make sure to favorite and give us a thumbs up. And uh, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later. Take care. Jade, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some Cydia tweaks for your iDevice running on 5.1.1 or greater. Now, some of these tweaks do work for 5.0 and 5.0.1. So uh, you can try them out.